China and President Xi Jinping are ending 2022 and going into 2023 with this intersection of key issues on trade with the United States, with tensions over Taiwan and in the Pacific, and this sudden and dramatic explosion of COVID infections in China, all happening at the same time and worsening what was supposed to be this real victory lap for Xi Jinping after getting this third term. It's now looking like he's saddled with severe problems that are really going to harm his ability to govern and his legacy in terms of the economic relationship. The most dramatic change is that in October, the Biden administration introduced restrictions on the export of semiconductors, computer chips, which are absolutely essential for high technology, civilian and also military purposes. So it's a way of essentially building a wall between the US and China due to geostrategic military concerns. The Biden administration and increasingly US allies and partners, what they're doing is taking back or relocating key industries that are really important for national security. Now we're seeing decisions about trade and decisions about production being made on geostrategic and military concern lines. And that's new territory. The global trading rules were essentially allowing China to build up potentially threatening military technology and power that could eventually be targeted at the United States or its partners and allies, starting with Taiwan. The newest defense bill has infuriated Chinese authorities because it allows for $10 billion in funding for Taiwan defense needs over the next five years. And we've seen the U.S. authorize the sale of a $180 million anti-tank system. And this demonstrates the U.S. commitment to defend Taiwan, but it is infuriating China, which has become much more aggressive about its claims to Taiwan. What we've seen over the last few months since House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited the island back in August is a increasing intensification of military intimidation and harassment of Taiwan. Daily violations of Taiwan's air defense identification zone and all also, daily flyover violations of the median line, which is really seen by many military experts and by the Taiwanese government and military as essentially dress rehearsals for potential invasion or attacks on Taiwan. The Pentagon has promised that 2023 will be a transformative year in terms of U.S. force posture in the Indo-Pacific, that the U.S. is going to deploy more lethal and more mobile military forces and technologies in the region. Over the last 25 years, the Chinese government has initiated a dramatic modernization of its military. And any potential conflict between China and the U.S. over Taiwan, Experts say it would result in dramatic, catastrophic losses for U.S. forces. COVID infections in China now are off the scale. We have estimates of thousands of Chinese citizens dying every day. And the real concern is the Chinese government is not being transparent about the extent of the infections. And so that poses a real threat to global health generally. The last three years, Xi Jinping had his signature zero COVID policy. In November, these mass protests that erupted in multiple Chinese cities, to a large extent, anger over the zero COVID policy. The Chinese government turned on a dime. They lifted the policy with no preparation, no warning. The Biden administration announced that starting on January 5th, any travelers from China are going to be required to show negative COVID tests in order to be admitted into the United States. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's upcoming trip to China is essentially a sequel to the meeting between President Xi Jinping and President Joe Biden in Bali back in November. What we're likely to see is Blinken bring up issues such as counter-narcotics cooperation, the chemicals that produce the opioids that kill thousands of Americans in this country. They originate in China. They're looking also for cooperation, things like non-proliferation of nuclear materials. Blinken's going to be looking to kind of have the rubber meet the road in terms of taking the positive rhetoric of the Biden-Xi meeting and actually having some positive results.